Oh, and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Erin Guys, bringing you your team every day. And as always, like I promised, we bring your team every day, a daily news uh, video and any news that breaks, obviously any news that comes out of the club, we bring you that news um, pretty much as soon as we can get it out. Obviously, you know, it's not my full time job. I do have other jobs to do. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, when, when I can get the video out. So anyway, news has come out of the club that uh, Ryan Jack um, has signed a new one year contract with the club. Now, obviously, this was being very heavily rumoured anyway in the lead up to this announcement today. Uh, you know, Michael Beale did previously mention in previous news conferences that there was two players that they were looking to retain minimum out of that list of nine players um, that were obviously leaving at the end of the season if a new deal couldn't be agreed for them. Um, it seems now that obviously these announcements are starting to begin, as Michael Beale promised. You know, Michael Beale did speak very much about the fact that, you know, that when the time was right, the club would make announcements um, as regards, you know, what was happening with these players out of contract and any players obviously leaving the club. He obviously now feels that this is the right time to make that decision. Um, speaking about this, Michael Beale said, I am delighted Ryan has signed a contract extension with the club as we continue to work behind the scenes in preparation for next season. Um, Ryan Jack, who obviously um, has had a bit of an issue with injuries over the last few seasons, that was one concern, I think, amongst a number of the fans was the amount of time that he'd had out. However, having given uh, given that and uh, having said that, when Ryan is available to play and when Ryan has played, he does frequently prove himself to be a very, very useful member of this squad. This season, he's played 23 games, one goal and two assists. Um, five yellow cards. Um, you know, he is someone who has, um, you know, has played a part this season. When he's been in the team, the team have looked on the whole better. You know, he's also played three Scottish League Cup games with a goal, five UEFA Champions League games, nine Europa League games last season. Um, you know, Jack has proved himself to be a important part of the squad. And, you know, as was seen in that Celtic game on Saturday last week, you know, when Jack is there, Raskin and Lundstrom seem to play a whole lot better because they are more confident in the fact that they know that Jack is back there. Jack is the man digging out, is the man covering. He is the man that is there doing that dirty work in front of the back four. So, you know, it is... I know what the concerns are. Look, I understand 100% what fans are thinking. And some fans I know will not be happy with this, bringing back Jack, who is injured. But... He does have his injury problems, yes, but I think next season he will be used in a, in a different way. He'll be his games will be picked and uh, picked and chosen for him by Michael Beale. You know the the more important games against Celtic, obviously against Hibs, Hearts, and Aberdeen. Those tougher games is when we'll want to see Jack being used. You know we don't really need I don't think to have two defensive holding midfielders against the likes of no disrespect St Johnstons, Livingstons, Dundee, Dundee United of this world. So I think you know this is a good move by the club. In addition to that, you know you are retaining someone who understands the culture at Rangers, is a leader on the pitch is someone who will help to, you know, along with the likes of James Tavernier, Connor Goldson, really sort of bed in these new signings into the ways of Rangers and develop their knowledge of what it is to be a Rangers player. You know, we all know, being Rangers fans, what it is to represent the club and how important it is to, to fight for that jersey and, and what the old firm means and what what winning the Scottish League means and, and what playing for the club actually means. And we know that as fans, but new signings don't necessarily know that when they come into the club. And the likes of Jack and Tavernier, Goldson, etc., are there to sort of bed them in and give them those clear expectations. And I think the retention of uh, Ryan Jack is quite clearly a move that shows the club are not only thinking about what is best for the player personnel in terms of having the best players on the field, but in what is in terms of bringing in mentoring and developing those new signings that come in, the likes obviously of Jose Cifuentes, which looks close, uh, Dujon Sterling, Kieran Dowell, for example, those signings that do look very close at this moment in time. Ryan Jack had this to say about his new contract. I'm obviously delighted with it. It's been, a, been in the background for a little while. I'm delighted to get it done before the summer and I can go and focus over the off season. I have played for the club for a number of years now. I love playing for the club. I love being here. I'm settled and my family are settled here. So when I initially spoke to the manager and he said he wanted me to stay, it was a no brainer. So, you know, it's clear that Jack loves being at Rangers. He loves playing for Rangers. He said he's settled in the city of Glasgow. He loves being a Rangers player. And that's that's part of the battle for me. You know, if you can get players that actually want to play for the club, that want to fight for the club, that want to be here, that is it. You know, you don't want 
like you don't want hostages you want volunteers and that's what my, jack is jack is a volunteer he's not a hostage we're not making him stay he wants to be here he wants to be at the club he wants to be a rangers player and as i said like i said i know he has that injury problems but he is a player who i think adds to this squad and i think obviously the the, the, the work that he will do over the offseason hopefully will help with that fitness Obviously, the club will want to work with him as well and develop that fitness side of things. And, you know, I think hopefully if Michael Beale and his his staff can get into these players early in pre-season and work on their fitness, work on on, on on their actual general fitness, I think, which I think wasn't there at the start of next last this season. You know, I think Gio Van Bronckhurst very much benefited during the Europa League one of the fitness that had been instilled by Steven Gerrard and his staff, which of Michael Beale was part of. Gio Van Bronckhurst, you know, it was said at the time, didn't do a lot of fitness work. Everything was done with a ball. You know, a lot of Rangers players, that was the easiest preseason they'd had in years. And I think that's telling on the, on the lack of fitness and the number of injuries the team has suffered over this season. And, and you know, look, someone who has coached sport, someone who has got, um, someone who, you know, has done sporting qualifications myself, coaching qualifications and uh, physical uh, sporting fitness qualifications. Injuries are much more sustainable when you are not properly fit. And I think that is part of the problem that has been this season with a number of these players, particularly those muscle injuries. And I think that is something the club will obviously work, look to work on with Ryan Jack over the summer. But fantastic news that Ryan has signed a new deal. Um, one year, one year. no other details on the financials as yet. There was rumour that there was a one-year option at the app. I'm not quite sure whether that's there or not. But uh, obviously more news on the Rangers website if you want to go and find out a little bit more. But great news that Ryan has signed a new one-year contract. Over the moon with that. Great first great announcement I said the club keep those announcements coming now keep those players coming in keep building so we can go and show that other mob from the other side of the city exactly who are the biggest the best team in Scotland and we all know that is Glasgow Rangers thank you so much for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation I'm about to speak to you very soon here on the channel keep keep watching keep subscribing keeping in that notification bell we are the people